All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today We're gonna be looking inside the mind of an alpha male now I know some of you might be expecting like the rock or maybe even Arnold Schwarzenegger and I really hate to say this dude I it really bothers me, but I just cannot put those two very well accomplished men with giant effing muscles that just so happen to attract like 90% of the females on this freaking earth I can't put them at the pinnacle of alpha males for some reason. Instead, I started my own expedition. In fact, what I actually did was hop on a goddamn airplane. I flew about seven hours west into the middle of nowhere land. I walked around on snow for three hours barefoot. I crawled through a fucking volcano. I swam in goddamn lava. Anyways, long story short, I happened to stumble upon this guy right here. Now this is a goddamn alpha male if I've ever fucking seen one. Anyways, to kickstart my interview with the world's manliest man, I decided to ask him three things I should never say to an alpha male. Let's take a look at it, fellas. Three things you should never say to an alpha. Number one, no. Did you just tell me no? <laughs> Damn, bro, you ain't got a fucking huff on me like that. I mean, I, I gotta agree with you, though. You know, last time I had someone tell me no, it was one of those stinky-ass stupid- Oh, no. Dr. Bolo, I will always tell you no, because you are just a dumb pussy, and your videos suck. You know what, you goddamn unicorn? How about you fucking suck on these goddamn motherfucking balls, bitch? Guys, if you happen to see any unicorns down in the comment section below, will you please drop them an STFU in their face, which stands for Stop Trolling for Unicorns and Shut the Fuck Up. You know what, fellas, I apologize for that, all right? You know, I, I didn't expect to beat no goddamn unicorn ass today, but I would hate for any children to have to witness something, something as tragic as what just happened right there. But anyways, as I was rudely interrupted, let's continue on with our video here. Number two, are you sure? I'm the alpha. Of course I'm sure. <laughs> and number three, later. What do you mean later? When Alpha tells you to do something, you do it. Alright, I'm fucking done clowning here. Look, dude, if you decide to go out of your way to record some dumbass shit like this, and then on top of it you want to post it on the internet, especially of all places to fucking TikTok, I can't really agree with you and say that what you're putting on here for everyone to see is an alpha male move. I honestly just can't get behind this idiot's movement here and agree with him that he is just such a fucking alpha male. You know, just a little tip of advice here, fellas. If you decide to pull out your phone and record a video like this, it's not a good look, alright? This guy does not look like a fucking alpha male. I don't feel threatened. I don't feel like he's a goddamn badass that's gonna fucking beat me up. Instead, you just come across as like a fucking loser incel that likes to rape women on the weekends. But anyways, my journey didn't stop there, fellas, alright? I continued going deeper and deeper into the goddamn pussy just to find a goddamn bad boy. And so I decided to ask my homosexual friend Peyton here, what are three things I should never say to a bad boy? Three things you should never say to a bad boy. Number one. Make me. Nobody tells daddy what to do. Now get your fucking ass over here. Uh, what the fuck did I just watch? Number two. <laughs> never say my name in public. You can call me daddy. Master. Or savage. <laughs> Number three. Can we listen to Frank Ocean? <laughs> what the fuck? Do you wanna fucking die? Yo, uh, Peyton, we're uh, we're we're cool, right? We're we're good, man, right, right, <laughs> right. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I, I wasn't even gonna go to school tomorrow, anyways. Yeah, okay. Yep, that sounds good to me. I'll uh, I won't see you there. You know, now that I actually think about it, if you walk into a gun store one day and you're trying to purchase a firearm, obviously they're going to do a background check on you, but I also think they should do a background check on your fucking social medias, especially if you have a fucking TikTok. Obviously, I'm not a woman, so I can't say 100% sure here, but I really doubt females watch this type of video and just get instantly fucking wet. 
You know, I really hate to make assumptions, but Peyton seems to be that kind of guy that's like 24 years old and knocking up a 16-year-old girl in fucking high school. You know, dude, I really don't have much to say after watching these two videos, other than maybe we need to reconsider who the fuck we think are alpha males nowadays. Because again, when I look at someone like The Rock, you know, he's a very well-established businessman. He makes a lot of money. He's very successful at everything he does. He's also like fucking six foot five. He can bench press like a billion fucking pounds. His muscles are fucking gigantuous. Either way, his testosterone levels have got to be off the goddamn charts. But then we take a look at someone like this and I, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm not really seeing the alpha there, I guess. I'm not going to lie though, dude. When it comes to these incels, they, they don't fuck around, bro. Like you just got to remember, they spend their entire fucking life just trying to get an ounce of pussy. And no matter what they do, they just, they cannot fucking get it. And after they've been rejected so many times, they start blaming society. And that's when, you know, the fucking crazy people start coming out. Well, anyways, I think that's a perfect way to end the video. Guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we're gonna be taking a look at two streamers that decided to take a leap of faith this week and unfortunately things just didn't work out in their favor those two streamers go by the name of amaranth and indie fox now i'm sure most of you know by now but twitch has had a little bit of an issue when it comes to sexy women and them particularly showing their boobs on a gaming platform by now i'm sure that all of us have at least heard of the hot tub issue going over on twitch and if you guys remember about a month ago twitch actually decided to address it for once and rather than coming out and making a statement like we fully support women that just want to dress in skimpy clothing and shake their booty in a little fucking child's pool in their house for money, or even they could have took the opposite approach and said like, hey, we don't fucking condone this shit. Put your goddamn titties away, Karen. And instead, Twitch had a better idea to just create a category called pools, hot tubs, and beaches. And this was specifically designed for girls that want to sit around in their goddamn bikinis all day and just have a bunch of fat ass losers wank off to them. Anyways, Amaranth and Indie Fox decided to take things one step further this week and they introduced what is known as ASMR yoga. Now, I know some of you horny fuckers out there are like, oh, hell yeah, we get to see Amaranth in the downward dog position. Well, you see, guys, that's just not really how ASMR yoga actually works. Instead, this is more of a uh, lazy bitch yoga, I guess you could say, because what it basically consists of is the streamer laying down in a very particular pose with some tight ass yoga pants licking the microphone. I also saw that sometimes they like to get a little fucking freaky and they wear like bird masks and horse masks and shit. Look, I don't know which one of you weird fuckers out there is just picturing a horse swallowing your cock, but if that's you, you need to get some goddamn help, bro. Either way, the ASMR yoga seemed to be a pretty big hit from what I can tell. They had a lot of people talking about it on Twitter. However, everything was working good until their accounts actually got clapped. Guys, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm actually on the girls' side here. After Twitch had this whole revitalization of hot tubs, you got some goddamn sluts out here wearing thongs the size of fucking gum wrappers covering their pussies. I would say it's literally as close to being porn as you can get without it actually being porn, if that makes sense. But, like, you're gonna ban some fucking chicks for laying there in yoga pants? Like, I literally just don't get it, dude. If Twitch would come out and fucking put on paper, this is what's allowed, and this isn't, then this, this just wouldn't be a fucking issue. But because Twitch is full of those fucking stuck-up reindeer SJW bitches, they instead decide to make everything a gray area and leave it up to their own discretion, whether they want to ban streamers or not. 
honestly, I don't really understand it, but if I had to take a guess, I'd say Twitch does this to keep their advertisers happy. But at the same time, bro, like, I am just fucking sick of this shit. Either allow these goddamn sluts to take their clothes completely off and just let it be free reign, you know, you can stream whatever the fuck you want, or come up with some fucking standards and hold these bitches accountable. Either way, I don't care what option they choose, but I just, I, I'm not about this, like, fucking, oh, well, let's try and push the boundaries, but not too much. I just, you know, I don't want to get banned. I don't want to make anyone mad. But at the same time, I'm trying to show my fucking pussy for money here. I just ain't about it, bro. I'm either all in or I'm all out on this situation. Also, one thing I want to mention is that Twitch is very well known for their double standards on the website. Like, we all know by now that girls can show their asshole they get, like, a 24-hour ban. And if a dude barely shows a picture of a butt crack with, like, three whole pixels, he's gonna catch a week-long ban. It's just part of the fucking website. But one thing I found actually quite interesting is that a lot of females are, are pretty pissed. You know, girls who are actually respectable when it comes to streaming on Twitch. I'm not talking about the sluts that have their cleavage out. No, I'm talking about the girls that are actually known for their personality, for their gaming skills, and they're actually quite frustrated too. Let's take a look. This is, I, like, this is the one thing that I'm like, all right, I've had enough. Like, where are we going to draw the fucking line, guys? I just don't think Twitch is the platform for that. It's not. It's not. Things are already getting pretty crazy on Twitch, but dude, I could honestly see things getting like way the fuck out of hand fairly soon, especially if Twitch isn't going to directly address this issue. I guess honestly, the big issue would be just dividing the community on Twitch as a whole. You'd have the booty crack whores getting mad at the gaming people, and then honestly, like no one can just agree on where to set boundaries for the website. I mean, it's a risky move, but maybe one day Twitch decides to branch off into two separate platforms one's Twitch and one's Twitch Plus or something where they can actually allow more adult rated content but it would honestly take some pretty big money moves to make something like that happen you know maybe like advertisers pulling all their ads from the website but anyways with all that being said fellas that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate it you guys will have to let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments section below but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, have you guys ever met someone that's just insanely greedy? Like, let's say for instance, one of your neighbors, he makes well over six figures a year, he drives a nice car, he lives in a nice house, but yet at the end of the day, he's just not satisfied with the amount of money he's bringing home. Or honestly, it doesn't even just have to be about money. Like, another example here, fellas, could be, maybe Dr. Phil is stealing all my goddamn pussy! The other day I went to a bar, I met a hot chick, she fucked Dr. Phil. The other day I went to McDonald's, I ordered a burger, she fucked Dr. Phil. Hell, the other day I went to church for the first time, and all this fucking bitch would talk about is sucking off Dr. fucking Phil! Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Look, the moral of the story is that Dr. Phil is stealing all of the fucking pussy. No matter where I go, it's dry as the goddamn Sahara out here, fellas. But this guy, Dr. Phil, that everyone idolizes, he can't even save me like a fucking fat bitch or a crackhead or something? Come on, Doc! What are you doing, man? Alright, anyways, getting back on track here, fellas, what I actually wanted to talk about in today's video is the fact that OnlyFans announced they are wanting to step away from the adult industry, and I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard those words, I thought, you know, whoever owns this fucking shit, they gotta be on some goddamn LSD, maybe some bath salts. Either way, whoever the fuck decided to announce this, they have lost their goddamn mind. But before we dive too deep into today's article, fellas, I have a really important announcement that I'd like to make. Go ahead and cue the sad music, please. Um, anyways, you guys can support me and support the Dr. Bolo channel here. All you have to do, fellas, it's completely free. One like equals one support for the MILFs. Every single day, the MILFs, they're just, they're going through some shit lately. You know, whatever the case 
case may be, I just, I want the fucking big titty MILFs out there to know that I am here to support them, and you yourself as a viewer, you can support the MILFs with me. All you have to do is leave a like on the video and subscribe to the goddamn Dr. Bolo channel. Alright, enough of that sad shit. Guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the article. It starts off by saying OnlyFans is reportedly looking to raise new funding in a deal that values the company at more than one billion dollars. With a goddamn B! And it says it wants to shed its reputation as a platform for adult content. Hosting more mainstream content on its platform could also help attract premium advertisers. Ah, there it is. There it is, fellas. The fucking greed. A billion dollars? Nah, that, that ain't gonna cut it, bro. How the fuck you expect me to feed my fucking kids at night? I'll elaborate more on this in a minute, fellas. But first, the article goes on to say, unlike many hot tech companies, from Uber to Clubhouse, OnlyFans is actually profitable, according to Bloomberg. It also raked in more than $400 million last year, taking a 20% fee as it handled more than $2 billion in sales last year after the demand exploded during the coronavirus lockdown. In total, OnlyFans has paid out more than $3 billion to its 1.25 million creators, which I am so happy to be a part of. The overall consensus that the article is trying to make here is that it wants to step away from the adult industry in hopes of bringing on more celebrities to the platform. Look, I don't mean to be rude by saying something like this, but what the actual fuck is that idiot thinking? I'm sure most of you have heard the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And honestly, I feel like that is the approach OnlyFans is trying to take here. As much as I like to clown on people who drop out of college to show their titties for $4 a month on the internet, I really gotta say, dude, OnlyFans has found their niche in the market. Don't get me wrong, the website is far from perfect, but at the same time, like, you're a profitable company. You're bringing in a solid amount of money at the end of the day. And even more importantly, you have a really dedicated set of creators on your website that are honestly putting out decent content on the daily. Like, I just don't get it. Why, why would you want to throw all of that away? You've done such a great job finding your own identity in this fucking world with your business, and now, now you just want to trash that shit? If OnlyFans decides to step away from the adult industry, what's going to separate it from something like Instagram? A good example of this, in my opinion, would be when Storyfire tried to compete with YouTube. If you guys remember this time last year, a YouTuber by the name of McJuggerNuggets, he's pretty popular on the website, he decided to branch off of YouTube and make his own platform known as Storyfire. Now, there was a number of reasons Storyfire was fucking dog shit, but most importantly, think about you as a creator, right? Why would you ever leave a platform like YouTube and go to something smaller? What did Storyfire have to offer that YouTube didn't? Because YouTube has more creators, more views, more advertisers, which equals more money. I honestly hate to say this, but I really feel like if OnlyFans decides to take this PG-13 approach, they're just gonna fucking end up in the dumpster like Storyfire did. Well, you know what? If that somehow happens and OnlyFans decides to just fucking shit itself, I can say here today on this video, I would happily step in and take over the amateur adult industry. I've never built a website before, but I can guarantee you I will figure that shit out. But anyways, guys, before we end off today's video, it's Sunday for crying out loud. And more importantly, it's a Sunday in the month of June, which means there's not just a green penis today, fellas. Oh, hell no. Today, we're going to be handing out a pride peen. This week's pride penis is going to be going out to the one and only gay king himself, Jaden Jenkins, who says, Hello, Bolo, a.k.a. my favorite vacuum. <laughs> yes, Jaden, th thank you for that. What a fucking way to start off a message. It is I, the king of the gays, a.k.a. the alpha male. So next time I ask for pride peen, don't say no. Honestly, I can't believe I'm about to give away a pride peen to someone who referred to me as their own fucking favorite vacuum. But what the hell, man? Congrats to you, Jaden. You are this week's pride penis. It really saddens me to say this, fellas, but next week will unfortunately be our last pride penis of the year. So as most of you know by now, in order to earn a pride or even a green penis, 
all you have to do is leave a funny comment down below in the comment section. And guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time later. Wait, did one, did one person say something to me in the lobby? Yeah. It was me. I was asking if that was the real Dr. Pussy Slayer. Oh, yeah. This is fucking him, bro. What's up, man? I was wondering where all the pussy went in the lobby. I was going to say, no, dude. Instantly. Back, I just... Back, oh, my God. Oh, my yeah. God. It's been dry, it's been as, fuck dry as fuck out here, man. <laughs> it's been dry. I can hear fucking tumbleweeds with music on top. <laughs> you got that shit right, bro. No cap. No cap. This guy's fucking amazing. He just keeps getting better and better, dude. <laughs> He fucking dry storm out here. It wasn't the Dr. Pussy Slayer. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna take a vacation next week, though, so that's all yours, all right? I just wanted a, a drop of pussy, you know? Not even, like, a whole puss or nothing, just a drop. And my man said, nah, bro. Preach. Hey, do you do you have, like, a preference? Like, maybe I could slide you, like, a BBW sometime or something like that. Slide you a BBW. <laughs> Y'all are... I mean, <laughs> I don't really have a preference, man, but when you're not even, like, letting a, a drop, a motorcycle out, like, nothing. <laughs> you, you know what, dude? dude like, I, I owe you some pussy, okay? that I That's actually my guy. bad. No, I mean, I get it. You do your thing. That's who you are, but damn, man. You know, <laughs> He's really into it, Something, man. anything, man. He's my dick out here drives the goddamn Sahara. <laughs> I think it's getting a little too creepy. I think it's getting a little personal now. Yeah, yeah, why does this guy sound like he's 40 <laughs> years old? over here. He can't even imagine what like, it I mean, kind of maybe like some sand droplets or some shit, bro. A little crispy. I don't know. Oh, you like that crusty like, like shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, that, like that sandpaper shit, bro. Brother, I went to Arby's yesterday and I tried oh my a fucking God. tear looking at my sandwich. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Hey man, I, I can't okay, say I relate, okay. but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know you don't, man, but it's rough out here, bro. <laughs> bro you're causing a drought. Help, help us. That's what I'm saying, man. Hey, you know what? Uh, just out of curiosity, when when was the last time? You know. <laughs> Always got to think about this one. There's no about that. Yeah. <sighs> God. I I'm like my five years deep office? right now. Wait, what? Excuse me? What'd he say? <laughs> when is Ray getting off of this? Oh. Oh, wait, wait do you know Ray? Ray? Reagan, dude. When was Ray getting off of oh. this? Reagan? Reagan. I, uh, I'm friends with, uh, his name is Ray Ping. Like, RP3. <laughs> That's, I oh, thought, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, maybe yeah, you know. yeah. yeah, you know him, right? Well, that man, yeah, yeah, I thought I, th I know about that dude. That looks too good out here, wait, boys. Wait, we're wait. trying, though, right? Everyone trying? Yeah, 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 we're, yeah. we're trying, we're giving bro. our all. Like I say, you know, it's a little dry here, out here. I'm struggling. No, I get it. It's real hard to kill right. anything with a dry-ass gun. Your bullets miss. It's rough, <laughs> bud. You know, you get chafing on your gun and shit. Real, man, for real. Yo, yo, everybody, y'all y'all did good, but, you know, puss layer out here taking all the puss, so I, I just can't. I can't play at my full ability. How are we supposed to hit? Luno, GG. We can't hit bullets. Luno, G I, I just We're need a little more pussy light. We're talking about how dry but, you know, the pussy is out here, bro. One day, one day. Bro, dude, it's it's hella dry, bro. It's dry yeah, as fuck, Yeah, ever, ever since I got my doctor, dry, it's bro. just... Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love Call of Duty, bro. Bro. I truly do. The people make it worth it. <laughs>Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today I want to try and decipher the female mind essentially I want to use things like common sense and logic to understand where women are coming from but I think you guys are soon going to find out that uh that is certainly not an easy task to do anyways the women that we are going to be looking into today goes by the name of sauce kitten God, what a terrible name that is. I don't know, man. With a name like that, it sounds like...
sounds like she enjoys giving out free BJs to anyone that's over 70 and owns a Harley. You know, someone that might want to make the sauce kitty purr a little bit. Anyways, before we hop into the video, guys, subscribe to the goddamn channel to support the MILFs already. Look, I don't know what to say, bro. There is a hot mom out there with a fat fucking ass right now, and she needs my fucking support, and I can't support her unless you guys are leaving likes on the videos and subscribing to the fucking channel. Now, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the video, fellas. Personally, this is my favorite tweet from the little sauce kitty. She says, Today was the day I found out why girls go through hoe phases. Because men really aren't shit. Oh, damn! Okay, so we have another female that likes to blame men for all of her own personal pro- Okay, yeah, it makes sense now. Anyways, continuing on here, she says, And relationships will just ruin your life. Anyways, I'm opening my OnlyFans cuz fuck, cuz fuck, uh, uh, fuck people and get money. Here's my preview, and then it's her OnlyFans link. You know, I gotta give it to this bitch, bro, cuz she fucking posted a picture of her titties along with a tweet. However, I think you guys will notice there is one very reoccurring part of today's video, and that's the fact that if you try to find these tweets, you're gonna get this little special message here that says, hmm, this page doesn't exist, try searching for something else. Alright, so let's break this down, fellas. We have a whammon that decides to open an OnlyFans account. Essentially, she's announcing her hoe internship, I guess you could say, and she thought it was a great idea to post a fucking full-on nude along with her announcement of the OnlyFans account, which I'm giving props for by the way, it takes some gigantuous fucking balls to post a full on nude with social media that includes your friends and maybe some of your family. Anyways, the most unfortunate part of this whole situation is that just a few moments after this tweet was posted, she deleted not only the tweet but her OnlyFans along with it. Basically, I'm just trying to figure out what happened inside the kitty's mind that after posting something as ballsy as that, what makes you delete it just a few moments later i i just i cannot figure this shit out man so what i actually did is i hired my friend dale who is an astrophysicist at nasa look i ain't even gonna beat around the bush here dale is the smartest motherfucker to ever walk the face of this goddamn planet and so dale after learning about this situation here can you can you please explain to me what is going on inside that female's mind uh you know what dr bolu i i I, I don't know, man. I, shit, I, I really don't know, man. I, just, this one is not adding up. It's not making sense, brother. Damn, if Dale don't know, ain't no one fucking know. I think if I spend too much time on this topic, my brain's gonna fucking explode. So let's just go on to the next tweet here. The kitty says, I got a job, finally, after applying to the same place since I was 18. I am sobbing right now. I have been trying so hard to finally get a job. This is fucking great, bro. Like, like I was really proud of the fucking kitten whenever I heard this news. However, let's take a look at the date here so you'll notice that's on 510. That's when she got the call saying that she earned the job. And then, you know, let's take a look at the next tweet. This one is 513, so just a couple days later. She then says, I already lost my mental sanity and quit my job laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what happened. I woke up and I was like, fuck this. Because as much as I would like having money, I just think I should be focus my I should be focus my okay anyways stay in school kid she says focus my energy towards what I actually want when I'm already 21 the job was great but I am bad all right look no harsh feelings here but this is just fucking clown shit like you're bragging about getting your dream job somewhere you've been applying to since you're fucking 18 years old you know I could honestly understand if she got to the job and like her responsibilities didn't line up with the position she applied for she just didn't like the line of work she signed up to do. I get that, right? You quit the fucking job. Go do something you like to do. But the fact that you woke up one morning and you were a little extra tired and you're just like, man, fuck this shit. Again, I, I got nothing for respect. Like, name, name one other dude in your life that actually fucking followed through. Like, that's something that we all, we all joke about saying stuff like that. But no one actually follows through, calls their fucking boss and says, hey, asshole, I'm never coming back. Back. Anyways, let's move on to the next example here. So she decides to tweet out no streams for a while at 12 o'clock on May 7th. Well, guess what happens just a couple hours later on May 7th? Damn, 
Damn, I say. Someone needs to get this kitty some fucking catnip or something, bro. But anyways, moving on here, fellas. She then tweets out, I feel like I'm Gucci Mane in 2006 with a picture of her rubbing her fucking cleavage. Oh, wait, what? Where'd the, where'd the tweet go? Oh, shit, the tweet's gone. Damn, okay. Moving on here. Fourth tweet, my OnlyFans is open, and King Ja, my assistant, assistant of the goddamn big booty fucking Latina MILF division, says, ew, who would want to pay for that? <laughs> God damn, King Jaw, you really are a fucking goat. Now, as most of you probably know, cats are actually really good fishermen. And this is a true story, by the way. When I was young, I had a cat and I had a fish, and my fucking cat ate the fish out of the fishbowl. Ever since then, I will literally never underestimate the power of fishing when it comes to fucking kittens. And it actually lines up perfectly because Mari, aka the Sauce Kitty, is really good at fishing on Twitter. Let me show you guys. She says, one uni class is costing me $3,000. I really am handicapping myself by not having an OnlyFans. Laugh my fucking ass off. Why is life the way it is? Now, I can't even deny, like, like, the kitten did a good job setting the bait, right? But whenever she went fishing, I guess she just didn't catch that much because the tweet, well, it's fucking gone, you know? She didn't get the amount of replies that she was hoping for, but that's okay because it is a new day to go fishing. She then decides to post, I don't have tits yet and it's still not fair. What the fuck, man? Who the hell is making the rules? Because this is BS. Well, it must have been a pretty slow day out on the water because when you go fishing for compliments and you don't really get as much as you were hoping, yep, that's just unfortunately what happens to the tweet. Fellas, I hope you learned something useful from today's video. You know, mainly the fact that bitches are just simply fucking crazy. And one day you might meet a whammon out there in the world and you might be thinking to yourself, you know what, dude, Doc is wrong. Doc doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. This girl's different. This girl actually cares about me. She's not gonna fucking cheat on me. I feel like she just really gets and understands who I am. Look, bro, you may not believe me, and that's totally okay if you don't, but I'm just saying that Juice World really said all girls are the same, and he was so fucking right that it actually hurts me. Guys, before we end off today's video, I want to mention, you know, it's okay if you want to clown on Mari down in the comment section below, but please don't go out of your way and personally fucking attack her on Twitter or anything like that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today day but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna look at a couple examples of why your girlfriend might actually end up leaving you and I'm not gonna lie dude people break up for just like outright stupid reasons for example, one of the first females I ever dated in my life, I actually broke up with her a week later because I just absolutely hated the sound of her voice. You know, I had to stop and ask myself like a, a really deep psychological question, and that was, you know, if I'm mounted up on this old bear, or, you know, lack of a better term, if I'm hitting this bitch from behind, is that the voice I'm gonna wanna hear yelling my name for the rest of my life? And well, simply the answer was just hell fucking no. Anyways, I ended up dumping her ass and you know, she also had this weird shit with like cats. And Anyways, I'm getting off track now. That, that is a completely true story, by the way. Anyways, I found an article written by this woman where she highlights the three most ridiculous things guys ever did that she just straight up fucking dumped them right there on the spot for. Look, I'm not even gonna read number three because it's kind of fucking dumb, bro. Like, it just basically says she was dating someone that she thought was from this political party and he ended up switching to another political party and then they just broke, you know, whatever. Who fucking cares about that shit? I want to read example number two, which says a guy randomly sent me a crudely drawn picture of a dick. Mmm, this is right up our alley, fellas. So she starts off here by saying, Yep, long story short, he sent me a photo of his dinner. I responded saying it looked delicious. He responded saying, I can make it even better. Wink face. And then he sent me the same pic with a big veiny dick drawn on it. <coughs> with the accompanying caption, BOOM! <laughs> 
unsolicited willy pick what every girl wants in their food snaps. See ya. You know, I can't say I'm completely surprised by the outcome of this story, but like, it, apparently he didn't even take a picture of his actual fucking cock. He just straight up took a picture of his food on a plate, drew a fake penis on screen and sent it to you. And you got that goddamn butt hurt over it? Like, I completely understand. It is by no means necessary the most mature thing you could ever do. But also, like, like did you even fucking tell the guy, hey, could you please not send snaps with fucking veiny cocks drawn on him? Like, in my opinion, it's one thing to be like, hey, Jimmy, would you mind sending pictures of your food without the fucking dick? And if he stops, then, like, you know, problem's fucking solved at that point. But if he doesn't stop and he says something to the extent of, you know what, Doc? I can't even do shit anymore, man. I just want to fuck around and send pictures of dicks. Well, Jimmy, I guess if you can't send food pics without the fucking dicks, I, I guess you're just going to be girlfriendless at this point. Uh, fellas, one very important detail that I just found out about the article is that everything I'm reading to you guys today happened on a first date. God, it fucking kills me to even say this, bro, but I, I guess I gotta be on the bitch's side here, man. Like, I thought maybe they had been together, you know, for at least a couple weeks or, you know, hopefully a couple months. But come on, bro. The first date? Like, come on, man. What are you doing? Anyways, let's just move on to the number one example from today. She says, broke a possession of mine and bought a replacement of it for me as a Valentine's Day gift. To be fair, we had only been seeing each other for three- Okay, so I guess this one's different, apparently. They've been seeing each other for three weeks when Valentine's Day came around. So when he gave me the replacement item, think something worth $15 you can buy off eBay and a $10 bottle of wine, I wasn't particularly fussed as I felt it was too early for grand gestures. However, a few weeks later, he jokingly asked when I'd be getting him a V-Day present, and in response, I asked him where was mine considering I would have expected him to replace the item anyway, and that I didn't consider it a gift. Cue him literally yelling at me over FaceTime, not texting me for three days, and then sending me a massive paragraph about how much he likes me, but that my expectations are way too goddamn high. So we can continue seeing each other if I lower my standards. He also basically called me a gold digger for only offering to start paying on the fourth date. Bye. Wow, okay, well, I guess we have quite a few events that took place here. I guess the guy broke an item within her house, and rather than just replacing it, he gave it to her as a Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, bro, I, again, I, I can't believe I'm gonna fucking say this. Like, I wanna gouge my goddamn eyeballs out with forks right now, but I, I think I'm on the bitch's side here, man. Like, especially if it's just a $15 item. Bro, you fucking broke it. Just buy a new one. It's 15 bucks. All right, I got two major issues with the way the woman handled this situation. First off, is it really that difficult to get a guy a Valentine's Day present? I know most guys really don't expect to get anything on Valentine's Day, but like if he asks for it, is it that fucking difficult to just get him a goddamn fucking gift? And the second issue I have with the bitch is the fact that she says, I'm not paying for anything until we're on the fourth date. Look, if you want to be known as anything more than just a useless cum dumpster, like, you should at least put forth a little bit of effort towards a relationship. Like, there has to be effort from both sides or this shit's just gonna crumble. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that the guy handled this situation perfectly either because, uh, it's pretty bitch made to yell at your girl over FaceTime, not text her for three whole days, and then start sending her massive paragraphs, all because she won't buy you a shitty valentine. Valentine's Day gift. If you get mad at a bitch and you don't respond to her for a whole three days, look, one of two things needs to happen, all right? Option number one, this relationship is fucking dead. Take it behind the barn and put it the fuck down because it shouldn't exist any longer. Or option number two, I, I don't know, bro. She needs to fucking peg you because you're a fucking bitch. Like three whole days? You didn't text her back for three whole days because you're not getting a fucking Valentine's Day gift? especially when you've only been dating for three weeks. I can't, bro. I can't with this shit. Th this shit is beyond fucking stupid, man. To me, it honestly sounds like this relationship was fucking dead before it ever started. Like, it literally had a 0% chance of ever lasting. 
I mean, at least to me, it seems like common sense. But then again, we have people out there that actually think J Bowen demand isn't a drug dealer. God, you've got to be an idiot to think like that. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Back oh out. God, you guys are fucking terrible. <laughs> Just leave. You already talked shit. Leave. You made an oh ass out of your totally in the fucking Let's go. Oh, we got no more of the business here. We got no more of the business. You're running out of fucking Shut up, You live in your mom's basement. What? Yeah, and you're an alcoholic, uh huh? No, bro, I look <laughs> like a fucking man. Oh, it's on the other team. <laughs> hey, GP's on the other team. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, if you have at least a little bit of experience with women, I'm sure we've all had one of those days where your girlfriend is just throwing a tantrum and being upset for absolutely no reason and you just have no idea what you could have possibly done. Anyways, today we're going to be taking a look at the sad story of a man that got to have a threesome with his girl, you know, props to this guy for that. However, after having one of the best nights of his life, it appears that it is all going downhill from there. But guys, before we hop into the actual story here, subscribe to the goddamn channel, alright? And leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs, especially the ones with big fucking titties. And without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it. My girlfriend is mad after a threesome. I'm 19 male, really pissed and annoyed of my girlfriend, 20 female right now. She is mad at me, even though it's her own damn fault. Hey, listen, all right? That's the fucking attitude I want to see, right? I don't want to hear none of this fucking simp shit, all right? Like, you know what, man? Like, I just I made a mistake. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. I don't! Anyways, on to the actual story here. He says, My girlfriend asked me if I was down for a threesome with her best friend. Oh my god, that's every man's dream right there. She is bi and is attracted to her best friend. Damn! You know, at this point in time, th this fucking man right here is saying to himself, Good fucking lord, I hit the goddamn lottery. I am living the dream that every man wishes to be living. So I said, Hell yeah, let's go! And there she started to get a little bit mad. She didn't say anything, but I felt that she was mad. So during the threesome, my girlfriend just watched me have sex with her best friend. She was watching us and just touched herself. I asked her to join us, but she said she just wanted to watch. You know, that could be a really tough situation to be in because, like, if you feel there is tension in the room right there, first off, how the fuck do you not go limp as a fucking sponge? But more importantly, how do you really decipher whether your girlfriend is upset about the situation or if she actually likes it and she just wants to watch? Either way, he continues on to say, Then we arrived home and she started crying and freaking out. She yelled at me about how I could just fuck someone else right in front of her. <laughs> oh, sh oh, he's actually serious when he said that. Oh, all right. So I just want to make sure I got the story straight here. So the girlfriend approaches the boyfriend, asked him to have a threesome with her best friend. See, here's the thing is that she could have been trying to set her boyfriend up by saying this, you know, like, oh, do you want to have sex with Stacy? And if he's like, oh, hell yeah then she has a right to be upset. You know, maybe she thinks that he cheated on her with Stacy. It just kind of helps clear up the air a little bit, I guess. But you see, the big issue with that is the fact that the girlfriend actually followed through with what she said, invited her best friend over, and they both took their clothes off and let that man stick his dick inside of him. She kept yelling, why, why, why? And then I got mad too and yelled at her to stop screaming. She calmed down, but kept crying. We cuddled in bed until we fell asleep. And today we woke up and she's still mad at me. She keeps blaming me for her own damn mistake. She wanted this and now she is trying to show me off like I'm the bad guy. I'm pissed and just angry. I don't know what to do. 
I really need some advice for this. Look, bro, I don't mean to be like this towards your girl or anything like that, but she just sounds like a stupid slut. At least from your point of view here, in my opinion, it sounds like she's trying to set you up. There was obviously a little bit of jealousy in the relationship here, and she wanted to see if you would actually follow through and fuck her best friend. And whenever you actually followed through and put your penis inside her best friend, that hurt her feeling. Either way, bro, it sounds like you came out on top in this situation. I mean, look at it from this perspective. You got to fuck your girlfriend and her best friend. That's a fucking dub piece if I've ever seen one. And you know what? If she wasn't trying to intentionally set you up like this, it's her own goddamn fault for coming to you and asking you, hey, do you want to fuck my best friend? And then getting mad at you for, oh my God, this shit hurts my fucking brain, dude. And you know what? Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about this situation. I mean, hoes are going to be fucking big mad for any reason they can think of. But anyways, with all that being said, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys will have to let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. But also, if you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone? And welcome back to another video today. Fellas, a lot of people have been asking me lately, Yo, Doc, are you ready to settle down and have some kids? And my answer is always very simply, no. And my reasoning behind that is because I just couldn't imagine spending thousands of dollars and hours of my life into this child just for it to grow up and pull some crap like this. Good morning, let's make a Susie. I mean a smoothie. Avocado! That's perfect! Moni, look at my avocado! I can't believe I'm about to say this, but if I ever was single for some reason in the future, bro, I'd straight up just be gay. I'd rather suck dick on the weekends than have to put up with some shit like that. We get it, Emily. You're quirky for TikTok. Now, can you please, please just shut up? The seed said, survive. Yeet. Avocado, sponsor me. Look at my cute avocado necklace. <laughs> Next is a kiwi. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Can you put a pear in a smoothie? Yes! <laughs> Orange goose. <laughs> Lemonade. Now, normally when I see someone acting like this, I would just go ahead and presume that they are autistic and slightly fucked in the head. However, because she's like a 15-year-old girl doing this for TikTok, it's perfectly acceptable. You know, I really want to believe that she doesn't act like this in real life, but it doesn't change the fact that my cringe levels are off the goddamn chart right now. And let's just say that one day, a young man decides to make a quirky video like this for TikTok. Dude, kids would want to be playing Smear the Queer with him at recess. And unfortunately, he's the only goddamn queer within a hundred miles of that place. I mean, how ironic would it be if this girl somehow makes it to NASA for a job interview? She walks into the room to meet her future employer and he says, Oh, you're that bitch that spelt it as Orange Goose. Haha, -ha, why don't you go ahead and smoothie Susie your way on out of my office, bitch? I know, I know, that would probably never happen. However, I want to check up on my friend Sid the Sloth. How's it going, buddy? Oh my god! Turn it off! Turn it off! My eyes! Oh my god, my eyes are burning after that.
Dude, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep for weeks after witnessing something like that. Look, I'm not trying to be a mean guy when I say this because I know not all girls can be beautiful, but you want to talk about losing the genetic lottery, my fucking God. Someone please link me the GoFundMe. I swear to God, I'll donate right now. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today, especially because YouTube has been, um, what's the, oh yeah, a big bitch and demonetizing all my videos as of lately. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time later. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, we're going to be discussing whether Twitch is a racist company or not. However, before we get into that, there's one thing that is just simply a damn fact. And that is, Twitch is one of the most sexist companies I've ever seen in my lifetime. If you are a woman and you decide, you know what, today is the day I'm going to spread my butt cheeks on cam for everyone to see, just like the way Moses split the Red Sea, well, you can expect to pick up about a 24-hour ban. However, if you're a dude and you happen to have a picture of your friend's ass as a desktop icon in the background of your stream, all three of those fucking pixels are gonna cost you about a week off the website. But honestly, I think that's just fucking common sense at this point. Everyone just expects Twitch to be fucking sexist towards men. However, one thing I have yet to hear is that Twitch is a racist company. But before we dive into today's video, guys, I just want to mention that I am a supporter of MILFs, alright? I see these hot fucking women walking around with these big ass tits and, and ass, I guess you could say. And look, bro, some of them are going through a tough time and they need some fucking support. And guess what? I want to be the one there to support these MILFs. And you guys can support the MILFs with me by subscribing to the goddamn channel and leaving a like on the fucking video. Now guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it here. Exohydra starts off by saying, Ear licking only works if your skin is white and you're popular. I do the exact same poses and licking as the top streamer in the category, but I get perma banned. Twitch has a huge bias against black people and POC that needs to be addressed. I was permabanned for doing the same thing that other women are doing in this category. Whether you like it or not, you have to admit that what I did was no different than them, but I was discriminated against because of my race and body type. Alright, so one of the first things that I noticed about her post is that she's essentially claiming to be a pioneer of the ear-licking yoga industry. Which I honestly respect, you know, if you're gonna get these fucking simps to donate money to you, and all you have to do is wear fucking yoga pants and stick your ass out a little bit. I mean, shit, I'd do the same thing, I can't blame you for that. Now the second thing I take away from this is that the screenshot she provided shows Indy Fox laying on her bed doing some ear licking yoga, and then she provides a screenshot of her own stream doing the exact same thing. In my opinion, there is nothing different about either one of these streams other than the fact that Indy Fox has 15,000 viewers and maybe Exo Hydra is a little bit jealous because she's only got about 3,000 viewers. Now, fellas, the real kicker about today's story is that Indy Fox, who was provided within the screenshot, actually ended up catching a ban. Perhaps Twitch may have seen Exo Hydra's tweet, and once they learned that they were being accused of being racist, they were like, no, no, definitely not me. I'm gonna go ahead and ban this thought off the fucking platform. Anyways, I'm sure most of you already know this by now, but if not, Indy Fox and Amaranth, two of Twitch's biggest e-thoughts, were actually banned off the platform for doing some ear-licking yoga. Now look, I gotta give credit to Exo Hydra because this tweet came out a couple days before any bans were handed out on the platform. Maybe Twitch really is fucking racist, bro. However, I will say, Exohydra doesn't really have the best reputation on the platform, 
When it comes to her type of content, she really likes to push the limits. If you don't believe me, I will throw up an uncensored video of this on my Twitter. There will be a link down below in the description. All I gotta say, bro, is Exo Hydra be bouncing that goddamn ass for fucking days, man. Anyways, for my opinion, I, I really just don't think that Twitch is a racist company by any means necessary. In my opinion, Twitch was totally fine allowing these fucking booty yoga streams to continue on until it started picking up a lot of traction over on Twitter and even on YouTube. And also, one thing that may come as a surprise is that I don't fucking agree with these bands, bro. Like, in my opinion, it just doesn't make sense. It, these bitches are laying around in their goddamn yoga pants. Yeah, it looks like you can see their fucking wedgies and shit. But, like, they're so much worse, bro. When it comes to those fucking hot tubs, them bitches are practically wearing fucking nipple pasties. Which, actually, now that I think about it, there are girls that wear nipple pasties with no bra, no nothing, and they paint on their body, and that's allowed. But laying on your bed with some tight pants, oh yeah, like, I don't know, bro. Like, to me, that's just not really that much, I guess. But again, I think this whole, like, beating around the bush is just fucking stupid. Either Twitch needs to just get rid of this fucking kind of content, or just straight up allow some XX-type content on the website. Or even, as I suggested before, you know, make Twitch and Twitch X and just... Fucking let those girls go stupid over there. Let them fucking go sicko mode over on Twitch X. I mean, Twitch already appeals to these fucking e-thoughts. Like, they give them their own goddamn category. They straight up tell them, you know, there's nothing wrong with being sexy on our platform. As if these fucking hoes weren't living on recruit difficulty already, Twitch has just given them a fucking silver platter to dish all their creams and sauces to everyone. And now it is time for these bitches to collect a check. However, it's Sunday for crying out loud. It is also time for one of the viewers to catch a fucking green penis this week. This week's green peen is gonna be going out to Sidera Jordan who says, If I walk into the kitchen and saw my kid act like that, I'll just tell myself I should have swallowed that night. Damn, that's cold, but honestly, I couldn't agree more. Anyways, congratulations to you. You are this week's green penis. As always, guys, if you would like to become a green dick on the channel, all you have to do, fellas, is leave a funny comment down below in the comment section. And guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the content if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas We're gonna be taking a look at a feminist reacting to easy swish sniper now I'm sure most of you have at least heard of swish before he seems to be taking over the entire platform of YouTube at the moment But I mean guys more importantly, he's a fellow award-winning green penis here on the channel Well, anyways, I guess one day he decided to upload a video titled feminist and female gamers are angry at men for being too good at video games. I must say, I thought this was a very well-constructed video, and it was actually pretty freaking hilarious. But you see, like, there, there's one little issue with this video, and that's the fact that one day, two retarded feminazis thought it would be a good idea to react to this. And I gotta say, bro, I ain't never seen some shit like this in my life. Or, uh, look, I've seen a lot of shit, but I ain't never seen some shit like this. Just look at this fucking ratio right here.
Uh, yes, hello, 911. I'd like to report a fucking mass murder. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If that was me in this position, that fucking ratio would stick with me for the rest of my life. I could literally be on my goddamn deathbed three minutes away from taking my last breath, and I'm gonna be sitting there thinking like, God damn, I really got fucking ratioed 147 to 13,000. <laughs> Honestly, I could end the video right here and I'd be more than satisfied. I mean, just looking at this fucking thing on my screen. But you guys know I ain't a fucking bout that here on the channel, all right? Guys, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel only if you want to support MILFs with big fucking tits. Now, don't get me wrong. I will support a, a good looking MILF with small tits as well. But if I were to make a list of priorities, obviously those MILFs with the big titties, they're getting my support first. And you yourself can support the MILFs with me by subscribing to the goddamn channel and leaving a like on the fucking video. Now, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it, fellas. And they're often referred to as the living representation of Pokemon number 143, Snorlax. No disrespect to Snorlax, of course. It might be easier for you to take a look at a visual example. I'm gonna try my best to fit this photo on the screen. So hopefully this photo clears up some confusion. I, I, now, tier two feminists sure. are on the- Um. Yeah, that guy is a fucking asshole. That's trash. Like, did we like no one's no one laughs at that? First of all, it's body shaming. Like, it doesn't matter if it's satire or not. It's fucking body shaming. All right, honestly, who fucking cares about body shaming, bro? Like, if someone calls you fat, is that really gonna make you lose sleep at night? And she seems pretty fucking butthurt about the reference to Snorlax and fat bitches. I gotta say, that was fucking genius. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious, bro. Honestly, what tilts me the most is the support he's getting. But anyway, let's... Yeah, let's and going. like... Oh, imagine that. He's not mad because of what Swish is actually saying. He's more upset at the fact that Swish is getting views and making fucking money from doing this. Cry me a fucking river, you simp god 6,000 white knight have an ass. All I can say is I hope she sees that, bro. I, I hope she wants to suck your dick after hearing you say something like that. I hate to say it. Now, I'm no MLG pro. I'm a casual. I'm sure there are girls out there who would destroy me in a- Someone who would say I'm no MLG pro in 20 2020. I don't know when this video came out. <laughs> uh, November, like a month ago. And it's got 1.1 million views in one, one month, by the way. I, I know. Someone that would say, I'm no MLG pro. <laughs> you know, I really don't get her point here because she's basically saying that you need to be an MLG gamer in order to have an opinion about a video game. I mean, by those standards, bro, you ain't got no fucking business being in this video. You're not a female. You can't talk about fucking feminism. Like, when, when you say that out loud, do you realize how fucking stupid you sound? Like, I don't have to be a licensed barber in order to know that someone's haircut looks like shit. Like, just shut up, bro. You, you have no business being here. You have no friends. Don't talk to me, bye. Seems like these girls don't know how to handle. So what I recommend is they stop playing competitively altogether and maybe just whip out the Nintendo and play Animal Crossing or Super Mario Galaxy or something like that. And if they want a little bit of competition, they can play Wii sports sorry how is that okay like how how is this okay on youtube like in 2020 uh, 2021 now I, I i don't understand like i i've had to watch it a few times now because i edited it to put the clip in and all that but it's just i don't understand how this is okay and i don't understand how this has 1.1 million views and people are liking it you know what, dude? I don't fucking get this shit anymore, all right? Look, I, I don't understand, dude. How could you be so fucking pissed at a YouTube video? Do you realize how stupid you sound? Like, you are legitimately pissed. You're actually fuming. I guarantee the first time you fucking watched this clip, you were sitting there punching the fucking air like an idiot. I think this behavior is definitely not okay. And following this blindly and just being a haha, this is funny is not okay. It's just mm -hmm. not. The behavior is fucking fine in my opinion, but I gotta say what's not okay with me is the fact that anyone on the face of this fucking earth is letting a YouTube video live this rent free inside their head. Like these two people got so pissed off when watching this video, they decided to go completely out of their way, react 
react to it, edit the video, upload this shit, and still think it's a good idea. Again, I could literally only imagine what that fucking ratio is doing to their mental health right now. Look, no matter what, at the end of the day, they have their own opinions and I have mine. Obviously, they're fucking wrong and I'm right here in this situation. I think these people are taking what they see on the internet way too literal. Whether you agree with me or not, you should never let a video on the internet cost you sleep at the end of the day. They both look like adults, so I... I pray to fucking God, bro, that they did not allow that to actually happen. Now, I'm sure these two live a very much different lifestyle than I do. But look, guys, if you ever actually see this video, the world is not exactly built on fucking pussies. If that was the case, things wouldn't be how they are today. I understand that it's 2021 and it's frowned upon to say some words that you were allowed to say a couple years ago, but that doesn't fucking matter, alright? Not everyone is raised on the same ideology as you, not everyone in the world is a fucking pussy, and the best advice I could ever give you is that sometimes you just gotta grab life by the fucking balls and squeeze! But guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And also, please don't go out of your way to attack these people, all right? Look, they they've probably dealt with enough shit already. I mean, clearly, as indicated by that fucking ratio. Jesus, dude, I still can't get over that. But anyways, guys, if you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Not only on top of that, it's none of their fucking business. Mm -hmm. It actually doesn't fucking matter what this guy think. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas i never seen nothing like this before in my lifetime look i've met females that are rich and snobby and they got a little bit of daddy's money their daddy went out and bought them like a nice little used audi car to drive the freaking high school but then on the other end of the spectrum we've all seen those social experiments where like a dude will pull up in a busted minivan and this hot girl with her tits hanging out want nothing to do with him but then that same dude comes back 10 minutes later in a lambo and she just wants to get on her knees and suck his dick so badly but i gotta say even those fake and staged stupid social experiments don't live up to the hype of this article however before we get into the actual post fellas i'm sure most of you know this by now if you want to support the milfs along with me please just subscribe to the goddamn channel and leave a like on the fucking video. Now, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it, fellas. So this dumb bitch starts off by saying, My husband lost his job and I'm considering leaving him. My husband is a plastic surgeon and he previously made five hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars a year with bonuses at his practice. He was recently let go due to a COVID reducing plastic surgery patient load. He's a doctor and has only been able to find general practice work. His highest offer has been two hundred and fifty thousand and he's considering accepting the offer. I know we need the money, but I don't want him to get used to working a, oh my, oh my god, a low salary, a low salary, <laughs> anyways, and not working hard to get back up to the mid sixes that we accustomed. From what it sounds like in this post, this fucking bitch don't even have a goddamn job, and here she is complaining about her husband, who has had to take a considerable pay cut for something that is completely out of his fucking control i can only imagine what other stupid shit i'm about to read but i mean i guess let's just go for it here she says he used to give me 10k a month allow oh my god ten thousand dollars for allowance like bro i'm talking about a hot blonde that whenever you've had a hard day of work and you get home she is sitting there at the door begging to fucking jerk you off 
and just swallow your goddamn seed. Unfortunately, I, I really doubt that's the case. But anyway, she goes on to say that 10K a month allowance, which has been now slashed to 3,000, I had to stop getting my nails, hair, and salon services. My monthly shopping has been reduced significantly. I know he might recover, but he might not. And I also know my worth and what I am accustomed. You see, what's really crazy about that is apparently you don't know you're fucking worth, you stupid whore. Nowhere in this post does it say my husband makes 700k a year and I also contribute another 500,000 a year. In fact, it doesn't sound like you have a goddamn job at all because you're just talking about getting a $10,000 monthly allowance to get your fucking hair and nails done. I mean, I'm sure it really sucks to learn that your monthly allowance got cut by $7,000 a month. However, I mean, at least, you know, you're not like a normal American who has to work 160 hours a month just to even be able to put fucking food on the table and bring in a somewhat decent salary. I mean, there are literally people out there that are that are eating only one meal a day because they don't have the money. There are people sleeping on fucking asphalt. Somewhere out there, there is a dude that, that is sucking a fucking dick right now for money and he don't want to be sucking a dick. Alright, let me stop. I'm sure you guys get my point by now. Getting $3,000 a month just for fucking existing, that is something that is like fucking dreamed upon by millions and millions of people, and they will never achieve that goal. She continues on by saying, I feel just gross having to accept this sort of lifestyle. I know there are other men at his old practice that clear more than 500 k a year, and there's no reason I I can't get with one of those men. We don't have kids yet, and I just don't want to settle for some loser with mediocre ambitions. You know, I'm really starting to think that I'm the fucking crazy one here in this situation, because when I look at a doctor that is making $250,000 a year, I, I don't fucking consider that mediocre ambition. I mean, for fuck's sake, we're talking about a goddamn doctor that got fired from his fucking job for something he has zero control of. He's working his ass off to get himself back out there in the market and get a job so he at least have a little bit of fucking money coming in. Here you are complaining about getting $3,000 a month and meanwhile you just want to fuck his fucking work buddies just to make a little bit of extra cash. I get that this bitch is out here just trying to fucking hustle and finesse a couple old dudes into making some money, but like this isn't even fucking gold digging at this point. This is I don't even know what the fuck to call this shit. I gotta be careful with what I say here because I'm not trying to get any more community guideline strikes on my YouTube channel. But straight up, you know, no BS, no beating around the bush, this bitch is a fucking waste of oxygen. If I had to rank this female in terms of like productivity and society, I would put those guys that like scam old people over the phone with like IRS and insurance scams, I would put them on one level and then beneath that I would put fucking whale shit and then below that I would put this fucking whore. I mean, honestly, dude, the person I feel bad for is this fucking doctor. At least I feel like I'm supposed to feel bad for him. You know, maybe at the end of the day, he's just looking to get some fucking pussy and not have to work for it. So he decides to just pay for it. But I, I don't think that's the case here because she says my husband, which indicates that they're married, which means at one point in time, he probably did love her and have feelings for her. But like, fellas, how would you feel if you work your fucking entire life, right? You spend 12 plus years in the industry just in fucking school, right? Just learning that medical knowledge you need to be a doctor, going out there in the world and actually becoming successful by practicing your plastic surgery. You find the woman of your dreams and you decide to marry her. You're making a big salary. You're getting your dick suck at the end of the day. Everything feels like it is just going absolutely perfect in your life. And then behind your fucking back, the girl that you are supposed to devote your life to, the girl that you are supposed to be with for the end of time, is out there willing to fuck your coworkers for a little bit of cash. 
I mean, it's literally a mental illness, dude. Th this fucking bitch needs to get her head checked out. I, I would hate for her to have to spend, you know, like $120 of that 3000 she makes a month just to get her fucking brain checked out. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do, bro. Th this fucking woman needs some goddamn meds. And she needs that medicine more than she fucking needs money. And guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do fucking appreciate it, fellas. Now, guys, if you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Red crate. Oh, die from. Oh, my gosh, thank you. I sacrificed myself for you. So, Red crate. I'm sorry. There's no one to eat. Oh, I gotta, gotta love that packet. Nice. Oh, uh, look at that. Hey, shut the Little Tyrone. Oh, there we go. There we go. The little children are out. Yo, Shut tell your mommy to get back to the cage. Aren't you funny playing this game? Aren't you 26? <laughs> 26 shitting on you young bucks. Yo, mommy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big fuck, get back to the fucking cage. It's not time to kick yet. Get in there. Come on. Listen to your...